when you name an angle, we name it by its vertex, so angle B. If there's more than one angle with the same vertex, we have to use three letters. The order doesn't matter as long as B is in the middle. So you could name this as angle ABC, angle CBA. Now that gets to be kind of a mouthful, doesn't it? Especially when we're talking about a whole bunch of different angles. So sometimes we'll put a number in here. We'll just call that angle one. Now let's apply that to a problem here. On example one, I want to name all the angles that have B as a vertex. So I'm going to start here with this first angle here. I'm going to say angle ABG. You could say angle GAB also, but I'm going to go ABG. So angle ABG. You will notice sometimes I put an arc on that, my angles. That makes it make sure it looks in an angle and not a less than sign. Now let's keep on going around. Let's go angle ABD. So angle ABD would be another angle with B as a vertex. Let me switch colors on you here. Let's go angle DBE. Notice I'm going D to B to E, so I'm naming that angle there. So angle DBE. And finally, the last one with an angle B as a vertex is angle 5 which we're going to name with three letters, angle G to B to E. So angle G, B, and E. Now in example two, we want to name the sides of angle five. Let me erase everything here. The sides are the part of the, are the rays of angle five with angle five as a vertex. So if I look at angle five, one ray is BG, Another ray would be BE, so that's what we'll say. So ray BG and ray BE. And then another name for angle six, we're going to use three letters there, Yeah, is angle DEE. -E. That can't talk. Angle D to B to E. That's where we get that angle from. Angle 6.